What is up you guys, Avery here and welcome to a brand new deck profile and this time we are showcasing Branded Despia or Albaz Branded branded on my chest, like whatever you want to call it. <laughs> um, this is a build actually that I came across EDO Pro earlier today and I decided to print off some proxies as you can clearly see here, they're just printed off in black and white and I wanted to test the deck, you know, actually goldfish some hands and things like that. Just easier to do on, uh, I guess, regular paper, so to speak, instead of just being on Dueling Book or EDO Pro, anything like that. So make sure you smash the ever-living crap out of the subscribe button. We are so close to 700 subscribers, and then we can start focusing on getting to 1,000 subscribers. <laughs> so, without any further ado, let's go ahead and dive into the deck profile. This is post uh, Albaz structure deck, so do keep that in mind. Also, shout out to the beautiful Light and Darkness Dragon map. I've had this map for years, and it is such a nice map. I absolutely love this map. So, starting off, you are playing the three copies of Alubar, the Jester of Despia. This, this there, it's a good reason. There's a good reason why this card's at eighty dollars. If I could speak tonight, <laughs> um, this card's your Stratos of the deck. Um, it searches any branded spell or trap. Uh, you have branded fusion, which is a a branded card. You have all the other branded cards that are already out. Uh, branded opening is another type of Stratos. Uh, it's just a really good Stratos. Like I, it's I could easily see a lot of decks once the structure deck comes out playing a small branded engine. Like I feel like based, aka as we call it on the channel, badass sexy engine deck, it's just going to get better. Uh, we are also playing one Despian Tragedy. Um, I don't think it's all that bad. If we could get rid of the glare here, that's probably not going to go away, which, whatever. Um, I don't feel that Tragedy is that bad of a card. Um, I don't really feel like you need multiples. I think it's fine at one. Same goes for Ad Lipidum. Um, they, they do what they need to do at one. You usually just want to dump Ad Lipidum from your deck or hand to grave to get its effect. Same thing for Tragedy. You just want to have them as dumps for uh, Branded Fusion or Albi and the Branded Dragon, things like that. Uh, and then we're also only playing two copies of Albaz. It's basically a brick. Yeah, it's a super poly on legs, but it doesn't really ever come up, at least in my testing. Um, again, it's not a bad card. It's cool that you have access to a super poly on legs, but if it gets impermed, if it gets veilered, if it gets negated, it's it's just not all that good. Um, which I think you can also ogre this, and then it doesn't get the effects. It has to be cards from either side of the field, including this card. So if you ogre it, then it's just like, huh, huh, nothing for you. So, yeah. We're also playing a Destiny Hero engine of Celestial and Dasher and two Fusion Destiny. So, you know, that's cute. Uh, we're also playing one Griffin Rider, three Enchantress. Um, yeah, it's it's a brave engine. The the brave engine is busted in this deck. I was literally just testing against my dad's Mystic Mind Burn deck because you know he's a troll like that, and we only won uh, two zero in a row because of the fact that we had the brave engine. The brave engine is just too good not to play. And then we're playing three copies of Ash Blossom because it's Ash. Um, On to the spells. Uh, we're playing three copies of Prosperity. I feel like you really need Prosperity in this deck. I've seen builds that don't play it, so. I mean, you don't have to. Um, I feel like Prosperity is just such a good card in today's day and age of Yu-Gi-Oh. Like, if you can dump it into a deck, play it. Like, the fact that you have the ability to choose one of six is just too good. Uh, and then we're also playing more Brave Engine cards, because I like the Brave Engine. <laughs> uh, and then we're playing three Branded Fusion, my <laughs> my little black and white prints. <laughs> um, this card's busted. This card's like a Shadal Fusion. Um, the cards don't have to go to the grave, so it doesn't care about D-Shifter. Um, it's, it's just really good. Um, we'll be showing off a combo here, uh, in a minute. This build, uh, is also playing Crossout. So, Crossout is interesting. Um, Ash is a target, Imperm's a target. If you go into a mirror match, the Brave Engine's a target. If they go Rite of Aramiser, you can Crossout designate the shit out of them, because... Let's be honest, the other Rite of Aramisers are pretty useless once you play the first one, because you're usually going to have the token established for the whole game if they can't break your board. Um, so there's a lot of things you can hit with this, whether it's the Mirror Match or just Hand Traps. Um, and the Hand Traps that you're playing is, you know, Ash and Imperm. So, you know, if the opponent's playing either one of those, which they probably will, you can hit it. I don't know how I feel about it yet, uh, but it's, it's interesting in testing. It seems to be doing what it needs to do. Um, and we're playing two copies of Brandon and Red. This card's dumb. <laughs> like, the fact that it can just add back a Fallen Albaz or Despia and just instantly fusion some. This is an El Shadal fusion, but just better. 
Um, and then we're fighting three copies of our Stratos, aka branded opening. It's it's really good, and it's a quick play, so that's that's adorable. Two Fusion Destiny because DP is broken. <laughs> um, and then the rest of our adventure engine, one Draco back and one Faithful Adventure. Funny story about this uh, adventure engine. I bought eight boxes, the last eight boxes of green creators at my locals. I pulled Faithful Adventure, Draco back, Griffin Rider. Uh, three Water Enchantress and two Ride of Arameser, and then I bought for 50 bucks the last Ride of Arameser I needed from uh, a person that went to my locals, and now the Ride of Aramisers and Water Enchantress are at 60. So I basically got my whole engine out of eight boxes. It was really beautiful, and my locals has been sold out since. So I'm glad I got them when I did. One Foolish, because uh, you can actually kind of abuse it in this deck. You can just go Foolish into a Water Enchantress and then get your plays going. And then Triple Imperm, because it's a cross-out target, and it's also just a good negator. Um, so out of the gate, I want to get these out of the way because, um, these are pretty much your, uh, prosperity targets. Link Spider, uh, one Dragos Capellia, one of the Despia Proskirian. Yeah, Proskirian. Um, we're playing two copies of Lubelion, two copies of Albion, and then one copy of the Despia Quertus. But even though we're playing two copies of the Albion and the Lubelion, you can still use these six targets for Prosperity. You're usually only going to need to get off one Prosperity. Um, so those are your six targets in the extra deck. And then, like I said, we're playing two Lubelion. We're playing two copies of the Mirror Jade. This card's dumb. I'm going to show that in the combo. Uh, one Guardian Chimera. This card's really good. Um, one Masquerade. It's basically a Chain Energy on, le on Legs. Uh, you go into time, you can make this and sit on it, and then it's a continuous effect, so even if the opponent Mystic Minds you, they have to pay 600 life points to activate cards or effects. Um, so you get this set up going first, and then they go, okay, Mystic Mind, cool, you lost 600. Uh, Rod of Aramiser, lose 600. Faithful Venture, lose 600. So if you hit them in time, they basically just can't play the game. <laughs> uh, and then we're playing one DP, because it's DP, one Bastard Dragon, one, uh, or excuse me, two Albion, and then we're playing one Verte Anaconda, because Konami didn't ban it. <laughs> So, with that being said, uh, let's go ahead and dive into a combo video. Alright you guys, so this is going to be combo number one. This is just off of Branded Fusion. Now keep in mind, you ha you run three copies of Alubar, which lets you get to the Branded Fusion. You run three copies of Branded Opening, which can either add the Alubar to your hand or Special Summon it, which can then search you Branded Fusion. So you're in theory playing nine copies of Branded Fusion through the three Opening, the three Alubar, and the three Fusion itself. So this combo, there's a lot of variations to it, but this is just a basic combo to kind of help you uh, learn how the deck functions. So you're going to activate the branded fusion and you want to go first with this deck so this is assuming that you're going first you are going to dump fallen albaz and a dark monster typically you are going to dump the albaz and the tragedy so by dumping these two all right so that's step one um that's going to get you a monster that requires Albaz and a Dark Monster. So in this case, you're going to go for Lubelion. Now, Lubelion has the effect that uh, whenever it's Fusion Summon, you ditch a card from your hand, uh, and then you are able to Fusion Summon by returning monsters from your field, graveyard, or your banished zone into the deck. Uh, the fusion materials required for a monster that lists Albaz as a material. Well, since you dump the tragedy, anytime the tragedy goes to the grave or is banished by a card effect, in this case branded fusion, you can search for a Despia monster from your deck and add it to your hand. Typically, you're going to grab Alubar. Um, so, of course, you're going to do chain links here. Depending on what's in your hand, if you have like a water enchantress, then you can just do uh, tragedy chain link one and then Lubelion on chain link two, and then you'll still get the search. They're not able to ash you. Um, so for the sake of argument, we're just going to say that you have a random card in your hand that you want to ditch. So we're going to say that Tragedy is chain link 1 and then Elubar is chain link 2. So you're going to ditch a card. You're going to send back your Lubelion and you're going to send back your Albaz from your grave into the deck, which is going to get you the absolutely busted Mirror Jade. Tragedy is going to resolve its chain. And that is going to add you, typically what you're going to search is the Alubar. So now you have the Alubar in your hand. And now you also have a Mirror Jade established. Now Mirror Jade has a quick effect that you can send from your extra deck to the grave a fusion monster that lists Albaz as a material. 
um, and then that is going to let you banish a monster on the opponent's field, but then you can't use that effect on the next turn. However, it is not a hard once per turn. So if you're able to loop during the opponent's turn into a second copy, you're able to use the banishing effect again. Um, so keep that in mind as you're practicing this deck. This deck does take a lot of skill. Um, it, it takes a lot of trial and error to learn the function of this deck. Um, but this card is absolutely busted. And whenever it leaves the field by an opponent's card effect, or by an opponent's card, excuse me, um, it destroys all monsters on their field at the end phase. So it's an absolute zero, but more broken. If it goes back to the extra deck, it'll pop everything. It goes to the grave, it's going to pop everything. Banished, pop everything. It's, it's, it's amazing. It is just absolutely amazing. So that is going to be combo number one. Okay, guys, so this is going to be combo number two. I'm actually going to be showing you a five-card hand. In this case specifically, we're going to be focusing on a three-card combo. Now, you might be saying, Avery, three-card combos, like, that's never going to come up. But this is more to show you what it is that the deck is able to produce, you know, drawing into a five-card hand. I want to show you overall what it is that this deck is capable of. So keep that in mind. It could be any variation of this. This is kind of the... In this particular build's case, because there are a lot of different ways to build Albaz branded dot deck, this is just an example of the best board that the board or that the deck can put out. So, um, specifically, we are going to start with branded opening, and we are going to discard our water enchantress. That is going to grab us to our field because we don't want to get drill and lockbird or at least avoid it as best we can is going to grab us our alubar. Alubar's effect is going to trigger. That is going to give us our branded fusion which is obviously our most broken card in the deck. Uh, we are then going to activate our enchantress banishing it in order to add us the right of Aramiser. Now that we have that we're going to activate the right of Aramiser giving us a token to our field uh, in defense mode because we want to be smart and play around the lightning storm uh, and then of course it's going to get us our faithful adventure and then from here uh, we can just proceed on with our plays until we are able to uh, ditch a card to grab griffin rider or anything like that uh, so we can just play the branded fusion and we are once again going to dump our Fallen Albaz and our Despian Tragedy in order to summon out our Lubelion. And now that we use Lubelion's effect, uh, really you can pick the chains however you want depending on your hand. I'm going to go ahead and say uh, Despian Tragedy Chain Link 1 and then the Lubelion Chain Link 2. We are going to discard the Impermanence because we just don't care. We're going to build a big ass board. And we also summon off the Faithful Adventure, which you can include in this chain link as well, in order to bring out the Equip spell. And we're going to do that by activating it and equipping it to our token. So now that we've done that, we are able to continue with our fusion summon. Uh, the Lubelion is going to send back our Fallen of Albaz to the deck as well as the Lubelion back to the extra deck in order to bring out the Mirror Jade Dragon. Uh, and then the Despian Tragedy is going to get us a search. Uh, you can search for Ad Lipidum. You can search for another Alubar. Uh, in this case, we're just going to go ahead and search ourselves an Alubar. Uh, we're also going to use the effect of Faithful Adventure, which you could really do at any point in this combo. It, it really just depends on what the game state is. Uh, but we're going to use it to grab Griffin Rider. And for this argument's case, we're going to go ahead and discard the yellow bar because I personally want to have the effect negation in the form of Imperm. We're going to activate the effect of Griffin Rider, special summoning it in defense mode. And then finally, we can set the Imperm face down, and then we can activate Fusion Destiny, dumping our Dasher and our Celestial in order to bring out our Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer. So you end up ending on a board of a set, in this case, a set Imperm, a Griffin that's an Omni Negate. I know that that's a bit hard to see with the glare. I do apologize, but there's the Griffin Rider. You have your token in defense equipped with the Draco back, an Alubar that's just chilling, the Mirror Jade, which is a Banish Interrupt, and then the DPE, which is a Pop Interrupt. Um, yeah, so the opponent's going to have a tough time in this build scenario playing around your field. So guys, I hope that you enjoyed these combos. Again, these are just some basic combos to kind of help you uh, get started learning the deck. I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, be sure to leave a like, rating, subscribe, and hit the bell, all that good stuff. I always appreciate you for supporting the channel. Guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.